If I had to guess, I would say that it was probably the Rockefellers and the Morgans in the White House with some cold hard cash and some greedy politicians. Do you think that that's who done it? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that that's who done it. What you might ask? <laughs> well, you know, the American government deciding to rule for itself by itself that the company that they were going after didn't need to have a court case to defend themselves in front of a jury. Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, uh, my name is Royce. I uh, am the host of A Drink With Crazy. And one of the things, and this one, this one really got under my skin. So let's, uh, let's cut a little bit of the showmanship tonight. Odyssey, an alternative tech platform that I actually host um, um, my episodes on, I have everything from YouTube transfer over there, is basically going to be wiped out, but not by the adversarial YouTube that everybody thinks, but will absolutely be wiped out by the United States government. Why do you ask? Well, the SEC just, well, won a court case where the government decided that the government didn't actually have to allow this company to present its argumentation evidence in front of a court what are you what are you talking about why are you talking about this well let's get into how alt tech is being attacked by the american federal reserve and why it's happening over here here's the case background the sec wins a summary judgment against the library which is library inc this is a very very long and arduous thing and probably something best for nick ricada to go over and i would love for Nick Ricada. Guys, if share this with Nick Ricada, please, because he would be the one to break this down. The case background in March 2021, the SEC filed an action against Library, alleging that Library's sale of LBC, LBC tokens violated sections 5A and C of the Securities Act 15 USC 77E. This was a no, uh, this was a notable case because it was one of the first brought by the SEC against a blockchain developer, which didn't involve sales of tokens through the initial coin offering, um, which is the ICO. Uh, while many coins sold through ICOs had no immediate utility <clears throat> and were sold with the promise of some future utility, Library didn't sell any of its LBCs until it arguably had a working library network and limited content sharing functionality on the library's network for over a year in the msj library presented the sworn declarations of around 300 users who declare under oath that they purchased lbc to transact on the library network and not for speculative or investment purposes library argued that under the precedent set uh in <clears throat> uh united house found uh inc v foreman uh, securities laws does not apply when a buyer purchases an asset primarily to use or consume that asset. Library further pointed to the many examples of telling individuals not to buy LBC for speculative purposes, but rather for its use on the library network. A library further distinguished itself from prior SEC actions against token developers as LBC was not sold through an ICO, nor did library release a white paper to describe some of the theoretical future use of the token instead library launched what is argued <clears throat> was a fully functional blockchain network and did not sell any of the native tokens for that network until over a year later so for those people who are a little confused at what i'm talking about basically library or the host or and the people who run odyssey basically said guys here's the deal if you want to transact and work on our networks that's all going to be done through our coins similar to like if you guys are playing call of duty modern warfare you give money to call of duty modern warfare and then they give you the in-game currency think about that but here but using blockchain technology which has certain ledgers attached to it so that way it's always there right so you give money to the company and then they'll give you these coins in order to transact and use those coins to do certain things on their website so publishing videos publishing posts things like that it's just a way um it's a way to one probably incentivize the transaction of money towards them and two it is also a way to help bolster the blockchain technology and test it out the sec countered in its own msj pointing 
to various statements by library employees and moderators on the library Reddit page, which indicate that the price of the LBC tokens would rise as the success of the library network grows. Yes, that is not indicative. That's not telling people to buy. That's saying, hey, we're successful and this could be a really cool thing. All right. It also links statements from a library around its own stake in LBC as an indication to potential buyers of LBC that they could depend on the entrepreneurial efforts of library based on libraries vested interest in the success of its tokens held in reserve. OK, but that's not going out and telling people to buy based off of this. That's telling people if this goes through, these are our plans. We're hoping it does. It would be really cool. The SEC also pointed out to the relatively low user number and limited token price to the published content and <clears throat> use uh and use the library network as evidence that uh users primarily purchase the lbc tokens for speculative purposes notably the msjs were limited to two issues whether the library had fair notice that the sec was taking the position that the digital assets uh, such as lbc which is the library you know token essentially would be treated as a securities whether purchasers of the lbc which is a library coin right? We're relying on the efforts of library to achieve profits. Now, this is where it gets fun. And this is where it pisses me off. This was a significant blow to library as they were denied the opportunity to present their case to a jury and will now need to appeal this order based on the current record. The CEO of library reacted to the ruling by saying that the language used here sets an extraordinarily dangerous precedent that makes every cryptocurrency in the U.S. a security, excluding Ethereum. <clears throat> and for those of you out there, you would say, well, if they would have just followed the rules and I, I just don't understand why these companies, what is Bitcoin anyway? Why does it matter? Coins just don't matter. Why? They're, they're not real money. It's just a fake money. It's never going to be a thing. They're just trying to stop scammers. Bankers design a new blockchain that works like Bitcoin, but it's regulated. Oh, by the way, did you know that the Federal Reserve actually decided last week on the Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving at the end of the day, to release that they are now testing out their new Federal Reserve digital currency? Did you know that? Which is weird because... Oddly enough, this decision, which is a potentially landmark decision that could go against all sorts of cryptocurrencies everywhere, falls within the same week as the Federal Reserve coming out with their own cryptocurrency. Boy, a team of technology experts within the banks and technologies companies have designed anti-Bitcoin. Uh, it's the architectural withdrawal for distributing ledger that borrows many of the concepts behind Bitcoin. But instead of existing outside of the government and the current banking system, the way Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies do, this version would be uh, used by the central banks, traditional banks, and some fine techs and fully regulated. Ladies and gentlemen, I want everybody to be abundantly aware. The government, absolutely, U.S. government, British government, Canadian government, doesn't matter, all the governments, okay? All of them. They do not like competition, right? It's why they absolutely detest you and your ability and right to vote. It's why they're trying to disenfranchise and make sure that people don't want to vote anymore. Or it gets so muddled up that they just, well, we just have to move to a new system, right? Make sure that you are abundantly aware of this. This decision dropped at the exact same time that the Federal Reserve decided that it's going to launch its 12-week test pilot program for its own cryptocurrency. This is not done by accident. Odyssey. A... YouTube alternative platform that I have been on for quite a while and a platform that I have had all of my all of my videos transferring over to here you can see I subscribed to Geeks Gamer the Ron Paul Liberty Report when Ron Paul Ron freaking Paul got kicked off of YouTube they went over here and they started over here you can see up here this 5637 those are my Coins. That's the currency that the SEC said was a tradable monetary 
uh, asset and as such fell under the SEC. So ladies and gentlemen, right now, they are aware that everyone is trying to find a decentralized method to get out from under their control. And they know that all of these cryptocurrencies out here are absolutely threatening to their power. Because if we can have a functional currency that is not regulated by them, that means that we have the freedom and the ability to live our lives and spend our money how we want to. Remember, they did not allow this company the ability to, I don't know, exercise their Sixth Amendment right to have a jury in front of their peers. A fair trial with representation present that was denied to them. And the language used is specifically used in a way that would completely eviscerate all but one all but one cryptocurrency out there and make all of it illegal now. This is something they have been working on for a very, very long time. And I hope that if you are here and you have watched my channel for a while, I want this to be the one video that you share everywhere to the moon. Tag Nick Riketa for me. Tag some of the LawTube guys. This needs to be the biggest story in the U.S. tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Whether you love what I said or hate what I said, please comment down below. I make sure to dedicate a special live stream to all of your comments, and I read all of them on Sunday at 11 a.m. Whether you guys love me or hate me, I make sure that if you guys dedicate time to me here, I also want to dedicate time to you. Also, don't miss my Friday night show live at 8 p.m. Central called Iron Age Nights with my fantastic co-hosts, IronAge.media and Mr. Daniel P. Riley. This week, we are having a fantastic author on known as James Craig to talk about his new book that's getting ready to release on Monday. So thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video on your way out and share this video to the masses. Let everybody know what's going on. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.